Hey everyone, this is Alex here at UC Berkeley, my alma mater, representing Microsoft Semantic Kernel for CalHacks, the AI LLM hackathon. We went around asking some of the students what they're building in AI. These are some of their responses. Check it out. All right. Uh, so I'm here with Atal, Ishan, Jesse, Lin Cole. All right. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, from San Francisco, but Miami for, for that. <laughs> uh, UIUC, so Illinois, good old Illinois, you know? Uh, uh, the East Bay. So right around here. I'm originally from India, but now I live in San Francisco and uh, building something around uh, immigration topics. Okay, okay. Well, since we have, I guess, judge mentors and actual hackers. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, what's the 30 second pitch for what the hackers are building? Sure. So uh, we're both working together. Um, we kind of came in with our startup. We're working on an educational consulting startup. And the main goal coming to this hackathon was like, it was focused on AI. And so we wanted to build internal tools and external tools to build like a learning management system that takes advantage of AI to help our students. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and to basically add that on, uh, currently we were just discussing like potentially the other product that we were planning on launching, which is a <coughs> AI AI based editor, right? That we use basically uh, GPT four, and especially given like the large like, context window it has, right? Uh, to basically create these like very very comprehensive edits, the same way like a very traditional essay editor would. Right, because uh, for context, basically in our business, we've been spending the last like six months developing our own proprietary like, writing curriculum, right? And this is like a big ass document of let's say like sixty pages, right? And no kid is ever going to read that, right? But if you just like plug that into like GPT four with that level of context, it's going to be able to learn how exactly you can become a really good editor. So just by doing this, we really wanted to build like a very strong like uh, essay like avatar in a sense. Uh, what sort of tools are you using right now to build your, your idea? That's an amazing question um, that we are still figuring out. We are still figuring out, but uh, so sort of off, like we really want to explore, like, for example, GPT-4. Uh, so earlier today, I went to the talk by Pinecone DB, right? And I really like their like, vector like, database because it's just like how you can actually just take like, these type of like, different data sets and like actually like clean up like the lack of like hallucinations, right? And for us, like that's actually like kind of important because you know you're dealing with like real finds and like, real work, and like you know a student isn't going to be able to tell the difference between a good essay recommendation and a bad essay recommendation, right? So the validity of the edits creates a lot uh, more concern for us to get like, things right. So that's why we're considering like uh, potentially Pinecone followed by like OpenAI model hosted on Azure, of course. <laughs> Very good. Um, what would you say is the hardest or biggest challenge in building an AI app? I, I think the hardest part is like the technology is like really new and there's like a lot of stuff going on around right now. Like everybody's like working on something like some sort of different like platform or some other technology. And so it's kind of like figuring out like what works. Um, and then also the fact that everything's like changing so quickly. So it's like as someone who's like trying to learn and like who's trying to get into the field, it's like you have to stay on top of it and really like move fast. As a mentor, I think I uh, can act, uh, I say that as a mentor in this uh, hackathon, uh, uh, reason that people have issues with AI applications is that they don't pay as much attention to the prompt engineering piece. I think that that's equally as important as software architecture is making sure your prompts effectively can make the software work for you using the APIs that you're using like ChatGPT or BARD or, or whoever, or proprietary models. I think just uh, how fast everything is changing, what I'm realizing is engineers are having a hard time keeping up with the slack of AI, which is happening like weekly. So that has been a big challenge and uh, the way AI is going fast, I don't know if what we're gonna do overall. <laughs> but this is super fun uh, to just see so many hackers trying to just like put something together in such a short period of time. And uh, I've judged a lot of hackathons, the energy here at UC Berkeley, is just amazing. Uh, it's even bigger than Tree Hacks, which I went uh, in February around. So yeah, this has been super fun experience. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Yes. These are the two I was talking about. We're doing it. We interviewed Demi. 
you got an interview as well? Me? I asked no. him. Yeah, oh, you didn't want to know. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice, nice. Do you want to add anything to that uh, question? No, Biggest honestly, challenge. like, I, I do think, uh, like you said, uh, UC Berkeley, like, environment has been, like, amazing. Today. Uh, today, we spoke to, like, so many, like, amazing hackers all building, like, really cool projects. And in general, I'm just very excited to see how, like, the space, like, develops. Uh, biggest challenge, I think, is that as like these like companies develop this really amazing tooling, a lot of abstraction happens, right? So I'm really trying to make sure that like as we like develop these like products, we understand how some of these scalings are handled, how under the hood all these AI black box models actually do work. So I do think like that's the biggest concern right now. But overall, I like a lot of the development in the industry has actually really improved like the speed of development. Yeah. All right, last question, fun one. Uh, if you're from Berkeley, you can answer it this way, but uh, I, if you're from outside, what's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is uh, in Japantown. It's a sushi place. Um, what is it called? <laughs> I'm forgetting the name now. Oh, okay. I'm not from Berkeley, so I have no idea the best restaurants out here. But from, your, from where you are from? Oh, man. Um, I like to cook myself. I go to ChatGPT for recipes, so you know I don't like to really. What's, what's the latest thing that you tried? Uh, I mean, my whole dinner plans usually when I'm cooking for myself is planned out. Just like to make something. You can in the future you'll be able to take a picture of your refrigerator and just say, "Tell me something good for tonight." So I I, I like the openness of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm a peace coffee and Phil's coffee type of guy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm not from here, but I remember um, like I spent some weeks here and the time here when I was here um, I really enjoyed going down to like Top Dog, which is like right like two two streets away. So yeah. <laughs>1st year of master student at Santa Clara University. Hi, I'm Sanjana. I'm a first year master student at UC Berkeley. Very cool, very cool. Well, are you guys all on the same team? Yes. yes. Awesome. Well, what's the 30 second pitch for what you all are trying to build? So, yeah, I can go ahead. So clinical trial is a time consuming process, which kind of makes us an F uh, say on how much the drug is, drug is priced for patients. So we are trying to optimize this process in order to bring down the medicine costs so it should be helpful for the patients as well as the manufacturers so so that we develop science together. So that's our motivation for this project. Very cool, very cool. And what are some of the tools you all are using to, to build this? So right now we're just working on the R&D process. Like we, just, we are like uh, already got like better idea like what to build. So we are like working on for the back end, we are like trying with like Python and Flask. For the front end, we are planning to use like Next.js, like with the React. Uh, so apart from this, there is some of like uh, LLM models and then other swans is like we are planning to integrate with uh, MindDB and a couple of other areas we are trying to focus like where we can utilize the swans uh, APIs. Uh, also we got like, uh, yeah, we still haven't like fully kickstarted, but we are about to. Very cool. Very cool. Um, what would you say is the biggest challenge in building an AI app? Uh, I would say training the model and uh, uh, making sure that it is of highest quality and accurate. Uh, accurate. Yeah. I guess right now, um, with the AI technologies we have, it would be to try to combat the hallucinations that the LLM models have. Um, so we've seen that Berkeley has developed an LLM called Gorilla that uh, that reduces the hallucinations that these AI models have, and it's shown that it has less hallucinations compared to GBT4, so we'll definitely look into that as well. Yeah, so we also care about health equity. So equity is one of the concerns that we have in terms of data set itself. We want to make it more representative. How do I make it? Uh, how, so right now we are looking at data set in order to like make it more uh, like a semantic matching, but we want to make it more representative of what the population that the person or the manufacturer is trying to run this clinical trial on. So that's something we care about as well. Awesome. 
Very cool, very cool. Okay, last question. Very fun one. Um, from where you're from, what's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't know. A to B? I, I, I don't A2B. think what, you... What's, what's A to B? <laughs> it's Adyar Anand Bhavan. It's a oh. South Indian restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so in Vancouver, it's, uh, it's on campus, UBC. Uh, it's called Kenton Ramen. Very good ramen place. Oh, I'm from South India, so I like uh, very much the biryani. If you have not tried, you can try. So I like the Anjapur biryani. Uh, those are some nice answers, but I like my mom's food, so uh, my mom's kitchen is the best restaurant in the world. Yeah. I, I think she wins. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for the time. And, yeah, good thank luck you. on the hackathon. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Artem. Uh, I'm a computer science and applied math major, and I already graduated uh, this May. So now I'm at Netflix, uh, a software engineer. Okay, congrats on graduating. Um, 30 seconds or less, what are you trying to build? 30 seconds or less? Oh my god, pitch version. Sure. Uh, so we're building the, the future of music that is about emotions uh, more than anything else. And uh, we are trying to connect people better based on how they feel about stuff. and. Uh, how you know how they feel about stuff again but like uh, with uh, other people see see how 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 their emotions match and ultimately make them more happy and we are starting it with you know cool visualizations of uh, what you've seen like if you want to show show the screen and then uh, we will also be recognizing emotions in real, in real time of how you're feeling about the song we'll be doing embeddings of in vector spaces and then We'll be matching people based on that and also give you better recommendations uh, and like inform our AI better how to like recommend you better stuff, essentially. Very cool, very cool. And what tools are you using to help you to accomplish this? Uh, we're pretty much using every tool that is on this hackathon. Uh, I mean, to name a few, we are, uh, some of it is in progress, okay? But uh, we are using uh, Hume AI for, for emotions. We're using Pinecone. Pinecone for uh, vector DB storage. Uh, GPT-4, we got access to be our core kind of like uh, infrastructure LLM. Uh, we're using Spotify, which is not here, but still like it, it's a, a data source. You know, For the future, we plan to use Apple Music too and uh, like Netflix, HBO, other streaming services data, essentially that you everyday consume. It, it, it updates in real time in our case. Uh, then we will be using Langchain for like building our pipelines already in progress. And I think we're using something. Oh, uh, we are also doing an album grid in re that updates in real time. And we are doing it as, as an NFT on Solana. Very cool. Very cool. What would you say is the biggest challenge in building an AI app? Biggest challenge in building an AI app? Uh, I would say it depends on the scale. Like the more... The, the bigger it is, the more kind of reliability becomes an issue, like, you know, having rely on different data sources, maybe, or something like that. It depends on what you're building. Uh, probably making sure that it, it, it serves your, your original purpose and it can't be modified or, you know, misaligned uh, using some prompting or textual input on the, on the user's side. Awesome. Um, fun question, last question. From where you're from, what's your favorite restaurant? Uh, I was born in Moscow and I lived a lot of my life in Kiev, but also in San Francisco. So let's do San Francisco. Um, Mona Lisa, the Italian uh, pizza, uh, pizza and pasta restaurant is my favorite in San Francisco. Haven't heard of it? We'll definitely try it out. Well, thank you again for the time and good luck on the hackathon. Okay, uh, so I'm here with, what's your name, major, year, all that. Ethan, uh, computer science, I'm a junior. Uh, one thing, uh, I'm working as a senior machine learning engineer. 
a uh, recent graduate from UC Berkeley. I'm Emily, double majoring in computer science and math, and I'm a rising senior. And I'm Ido, a computer science major. All right, and what's the 30 second pitch for what you all are trying to build? I can take it. So our goal is to democratize model alignment. Um, we believe it's a huge factor um, in kind of the world we're going in and how these models are behaving. And right now, it seems like only a few companies have control over how the models behave. And we're trying to kind of, in a way, open source the reward, uh, reward model uh, and build a community where people can contribute their like findings with regards to how the model is misbehaving and kind of work together to better align. Very cool, very cool. Do you want to add to that? Add to that? So, so in a very similar way to how you might go on GitHub and you might go and find some code, find some bugs in the code and want to contribute your own findings, your own skill sets. Uh, in a very similar way, you can go onto our platform, just like GitHub, and look at a model and say, oh, it misbehaved. It should have said something more similar to this based on my background and my experience, and therefore I'm going to submit a report. And so collectively, as a community, we have people from all different backgrounds all across the world contribute their findings. And collectively, we then use that data to help companies train better reward models that they can use uh, through, reward, uh, through uh, RL to then make models that are smarter, better, and more democratized. Very cool, very cool. What are some of the tools and technologies that you're using to, to build this? Uh, yeah, uh, we just train in the like, Falcon 40 billion uh, open source model and then uh, I try to quantize it and then uh, run it in 24 hours and then uh, like, I show like, how it is easy to train the reward model uh, for the communities and like, you know, using our platform. Um, and then for our front end like, portal, we're going to be using Next.js and React. Um, and yeah, and then we're using Google Colab as well to experiment with like creating the model. Are we using Azure Kubernetes as well? Cool, cool. Yeah, on the um, RL side, like we're currently decided to use a uh, proximal policy optimization, I believe is uh, the full name for it, um, to kind of like update the model after we um, receive the human feedback. Um, human feedback itself will be kind of like judged using like the, the reward model um, and that will kind of like give us a scale of value which will then be used to update the actual language model itself. Awesome, awesome. Uh, what would you say is the biggest challenge in building an AI app? Like ours or just like in general? Either, whichever one. Ours has been connected to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Wi-Fi problems, yes. <laughs> Especially if you're using Colab notebooks, that's right. Um, I think, well, this is something kind of we're trying to combat where when other people are probably building AI models, they want it to behave a certain way. And just the way that that's being trained right now is not transparent at all, um, especially like open AI. And these, we don't know like what their are, like human feedback looks like, what the rules that go into that are. And I think with our platform, people will be able to have a greater say and control and thus get like a much better model that suits kind of their behaviors and what they want. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of our goal. We're trying to make it easier for people to build models they like. Okay, last question, uh, fun one. Um, from where you're from, what's your favorite restaurant? <laughs> okay. Um, what's the best one? Uh, yeah, so in Harvard Square, there's a place, in, this is in Boston, there's a place called Hefe's. It's a late night spot, it's open until 3 a.m. and they have the best burritos. This is kind of hard um, I don't think I have a favorite restaurant. Um, Kava? I, Kava? I like Kava. Kava. I have to go all the way to you guys to get Kava. Kava is all right. Um, yeah, yeah, I like Kava. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm from Yama, Bama, and my favorite food is Korean blood bean noodle. Okay. Um, let's see. Where I go to school at Cal Poly, I think the best restaurant might be Flower House. It's very good Italian food. Awesome. Well, thank you again for taking some time out to answer. Yep. Good luck with the hackathon.